Have you ever heard the old saying that the pen is mightier than the sword? This concept of words being more powerful than physical force is similar to the idea expressed by Solomon in Proverbs 18 and verse 21, where he says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes, friends, words are very powerful, and Solomon shows us the power of both good and evil words. We read in Proverbs 10 and verse 21 that the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of understanding. The words of the righteous do not only provide a benefit to themselves, but are able to help others as well. In this verse, Solomon says that their words feed many. And in our society, many people have the idea that to feed many requires great amounts of money and expansive government programs. Yet Solomon says that the lips of the righteous are able to do this. But how could such words help feed others? Well, friends, they impart words of wisdom that will help others to be more productive and self-sufficient, relying upon the blessings that God has given rather than being in need. Later in our study, we're going to consider the Proverbs that discuss work and stewardship and teaching others in such ways of wisdom will help to feed many. Solomon also states that anxiety in a man's heart weighs that heart down, but a good word makes it glad, Proverbs 12 and verse 25. We are all aware of how difficult it can be to deal with worry and anxiety. Some have become so weighed down by these things that they are hindered from carrying out the regular activities of daily life. There are many people who, for a variety of reasons today, take medications for things such as depression and anxiety and other conditions, nerve problems, things of that nature that are brought about because of worry and anxiety. But Solomon says that a good word is able to help one to deal with the mental struggles of life. He says elsewhere, a man has joy in an apt answer. And how delightful is a timely word, Proverbs 15 and verse 23. I think we all can understand and can attest to the fact that often the best thing to help one get through a difficult situation is simply a timely word. A word of encouragement, a word of empathy, letting us know that we have someone there praying for us, supporting us, and helping us as we go through those difficult times that each and every one of us will face as we go through this life. We know that a good word can oftentimes cheer us up, can help us in those difficult times. Solomon also makes the statement in Proverbs 25 and verse 15, By forbearance a ruler may be persuaded, and a soft tongue breaks the bone. Now how might we expect a ruler to be persuaded of something? Well, one method that may come to mind is that of physical force. You know, rulers understand force. Oftentimes, they get to their positions of power by using great physical force. They employ force or the threat of force to persuade men to do their will. And since this is what they understand, some believe that the only way to persuade a ruler is by using force or the threat of force against them. But Solomon makes the statement that forbearance or patience may be used instead of force to accomplish this same purpose. Well, of course, this is generally speaking. We know that this would not be true for every ruler. But Solomon then compares this to breaking a bone. And this can certainly be done with a blow or the impact from a fall. But the wise man says that the same thing can be accomplished by a soft tongue emphasizing the fact that words are far more powerful and far more effective than we can often expect. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and we pray that God blesses you with a wonderful day.